Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Spawn Point. This is episode three. And today, the plan is... If I can find the right button to my keyboard. Oh, why do I keep doing this? It's nearly night and I keep starting episodes. Why? But the plan is today to make a boat, go exploring, Hopefully get some good resources, and hopefully get good enough stuff to put in our brand new house that we made yesterday. Last episode? A time before this? <laughs> We're going on an adventure, gonna see what we may find. more desert. Yay. Let's turn towards it. Maybe there's something cool. I think this is a teeny mesa. Is that a teeny mesa? It is a teeny tiny mesa. A teeny mesa. It's cool though. I might just leave it. I might steal some of the sand and sandstone and stuff. It's tiny. It's very tiny. There is also a jungle. Is that a town? It is a town. And a Sahara. Sahara? Sahara? Savannah? Let's go over here. We can maybe steal some of their produce. Maybe they have potatoes. I'm gonna get some birch saplings. Because if I get the saplings of the trees, I can just throw it over by my base. Don't know if I'll use the jungle wood stuff. I'll go back for the saplings in a second. But I might try. I also will need to have to go back and adventure for animals. I just need a tiny, tiny one. This one should be good. That's all I want is saplings. I just need resources so I can build stuff cooler. Ooh, there's some more. Okay, so we dropped off all the stuff up there. And now we can go adventure up this way. I do want to skirt around the Crater, villager, outpost. Because I really don't want to deal with that right now. But I'm gonna get up here. Go around. Try not to die while traversing the stuff. Running all the way. Oh, another mesa. Hopefully it's not a tiny one like the last one. I'd like to be able to get more resources out. <laughs> it looks bigger than the last one. At least from the little bit I'm seeing. Let's skirt around this. Okay, cool, cool. It is a, is a massive mesa. Oh, lava. Just I'll take it. This is good to know though. We might be able to get some better building materials. It's decently big too. Ooh, and it looks like there's mine shafts in it too. This could actually oh, I was really hoping that would be a spot for it. Yeah. This could be really good. 
that we know what's roughly around our area and what we can grab material wise, we can more easily plan out what we want to do with the city. Seeing how I want to do stuff that's in and around the area and make it look like it's locally sourced. So I don't want to build wooden buildings, all wood buildings in a desert. I like to pull from the surrounding area. Let's get back and then we can start on the interior of our house. Looking at the interior, I'm trying to decide how I want to actually do this. I know I want to do... Can I make some wood real quick? I know I want to do some sort of shelving just to make it better. I would like the kitchen to be like here. That's also really short, like, roof. I'm trying to think how to do it well. I could do barrels for the counters. That would work. Like that. Maybe. Hmm. I don't think they'll look as good, but maybe trapdoors in front of those. Oops. That is also not what I meant to do. Make them more cavity. Nah, that doesn't work. I think that only works with the spruce trapdoors. Do that, have a furnace or something there. I would like. Maybe, oh, that looks, maybe if we do that, yeah. possibly even, I'm gonna have it like that. Oh, I don't know, maybe, hang on, let's try this again, let's do, full bricks there so it looks like it's holding it up we have the kitchen area in here possibly uh and then i would like to make no i don't have this partitioned i would like to make it loose partitioned so like still have airflow above how does that look on a window it's maybe knock that down on that then across and then do something to partition that because i want to make this the bedroom walk it's that area that bedding area and up here i'm not sure i might add planters or something up here on these just add some more life to the top and up here via the storage area meaning i need a lot more uh more barrels i'm gonna use as many of the planks that i have to make the barrels which i only have enough to make six. Ooh, I think now... Is that it getting dark or is it raining? Or is it a thunderstorm? I need to get better at telling the, uh... Ooh, very tight. The difference between lighting. It's raining and it's dark. I think that's what that is. It's raining and it's dark. So that's the storage room. Look at all the mobs. We have our bed in here now, so we can just plop. 
I think I'm gonna start s switching over stuff that's in our storage here and put it up there. And then we'll start renovating this. All right, so I've got it moved over and somewhat organized, but I also revamped the llama pen. Let's go over and look at that real quick. Once I have grass blocks, I will put grass blocks down here. Um, but right now we got two llamas and then I breeded them to make a baby. And yes, I have tested to see if they can walk through the fences. They can't, but I can. Which makes it uh, a little cheaper so I don't have to buy or make um, fence gates for it. Yeah. Here's the start of our little bit of a town. The next goal I have is to make a better field area. Which we might just do some sort of underground build because it would be cooler in theory it would be cooler in temperature in a desert to have them underground so we can do like a little underground dome bit maybe somewhere around here and then have our guard have our um fields under the ground so they're a little bit cooler and won't burn and wither in the sunlight I might actually... I'm trying to figure out the best spot to do that. I think over here, nearby the mine, would be a good idea. I'm gonna start digging out a circular hole for that. And then when I come back, I will show you what I've got. So I finished the underground garden. It's going to take a little bit before I can have it fully filled. But I did this little dome shape on top. And it's just a circle down into the middle of nowhere. I have this water flow going through it because the water that I put in the corners weren't getting the center bit. So we just have this water flow. Also, we can use it to get up and mostly just get up. Because if we try to go down in it, uh take so long. We got this slowly growing down here. So we got that done. I do I do really want to real quick clean up the mess that I made before. So clean up over here where I had the garden before. And after that I I want to see if we're able to go into the nether and get some nether stuff. So now that we have iron armor and some iron stuff, I feel more comfortable doing that. So I'm going to clean this up real quick and then we're going to go off into the nether portal and get us some more uh, resources just from the nether. Alrighty, we got our sword, we've got some food, we have an axe so we can get some warped tree stuff. Let's go into the nether again and hopefully not die this time. Okay. Lava. Ah. Got that guy over there. Ooh, I do want some mushroom lights. Yeah, I know I could have not done that with my sword. I'm going to avoid the big one. Pig! And did I actually pick up leather? Or is it just saying that I picked up leather? I didn't actually. I'm gonna get a bunch of shroom lights because I want to use those as lighting. Oop! Oh, 
That was not a good sound. Don't know where he is. That was not a sound I wanted to hear. Just one here is going to attack me. I don't think he knows where I am. Or if he was just making a noise and I was in the vicinity. I hear it. I like the purple wood. That's kind of one of my favorite woods to build with. I wish I had a silk touch because then we can make Nihilium stuff and then we can actually are you able to grow these? I feel like you have to have the blue stuff. Hang on, we're gonna do we're gonna do some testing. I can't remember how this game works. Grabbed a couple things. Think back. Oh, of course it's nighttime. We're gonna run back to our house, sleep, and then do testing. It's gonna. It's just over here. I'm gonna kill the creeper first. Oh, another bone. Oh, oh, okay gonna try not having that explode but let's try it's gonna do that I think you can just place it nope you can't okay I might. I'm gonna have to get silk touch this is basically this is all we learned I need silk touch Seeing how we've got the stuff now from the nether, my organization skills are fantastic. I'm going to say next episode, we are going to try and get ourselves diamond armor. That, that's, that's my plan now. I'm trying to find stuff to make a pickaxe real quick. I think it is down here. But I think we're, we should make, we should go and get ourselves some diamond, diamond stuff so that we can actually get a good, a good head start on trying to actually get to the point where we can do the bigger projects that I have in mind. But I think with that, we got... We got the farm made and it's moved over. We got this switched over to being the camel's or llama's home. We still have all my llamas? Wait. Where'd the baby llama go? Hold up. The baby llama's gone. Not like grown up gone, just gone. Interesting. Wait, are you the baby llama? No, you're not, because... Yeah, no, where did the baby llama go? Where'd your child go? He's gone. Now that I've gotten distracted again. Okay. <clears throat> we built that. We did the farm. And we did the interior of our house. I think next episode, we need to get diamond armor. That's about all I've got right now, though. That's my plan. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great week. Bye! Hi, guys. It's Editing Emmy here. I'm kind of just giving this as a reminder to myself. Uh, don't record when you're sick. It does make the editing process a lot more difficult. Thanks. Bye, guys.